news in the world of Nightingale, let's go. We had some server maintenance today and there are some pretty interesting things in this change log. Bug fixes mainly have to do with fixing some crashes. Building additional small structures can now be copied, moved, and destroyed via build mode. That's good. Controls, the scroll wheel reversal from the previous update has been reverted back to its original state. I think that's a good idea. A few little things here with NPCs. Creatures should no longer spawn into inaccessible areas and instances of the Bastille of Might arena. Sun Giants no longer unlocks a de deprecated feature, Sanctuary Focus. Removing recruitable marker on the map no longer dismisses the NPC when using a gamepad controller. That's really good. Character at Nelly's camp no longer has an accidental wardrobe malfunction. And in case you're wondering, no, it still doesn't say anything about our NPCs chucking good wood everywhere that they can. This is such a frustration for players. I'm really kind of surprised that they haven't addressed this yet. Updates on the player character. Climbing picks should no longer cause the player model to vibrate. Good. Quick clicking on the invite button should no longer lock people out of parties. Resolved a bug related to character faces causing unintentional bumpiness in the lighting. Faces should look smoother as a result. I haven't seen that. Some of the eyes are fixed. And this seems like a good one. Fix cases where a player's respite could be unintentionally set to the watch. If a player's respite realm is detected as the watch, the player will be relocated to their first abeyance realm. Resources, you can now craft the charm braid of mind. A couple little things with the UI. Essence Trader Shop offers now expand and collapse as expected. Then we get into some game changes. The Swamp Apex Vault is brighter, so you can see what you're doing in there better. There's quite a few changes for the player character. Players can now quick stack items into chests. Yay, that's always good. Stamina now starts to regen as soon as tool swing is finished. A lot of this has to do with redoing balancing. That one makes sense, obviously. Reduced dodge stamina cost from 15 down to 10. Slightly reduced dodge distance from about five meters to about four meters to make it more usable in combat. You did dodge quite a ways. No enemy tracking while dodging. Knockback immune while dodging. Those make sense because you want the dodging to actually be useful. No airborne stamina regen, makes sense. And then more stuff with stamina. One-handed weapons now consume three stamina per swing, down from four. Two-handed weapons now all cost six stamina to swing. They all did accept axes. Halved stamina cost of climbing, swimming, and gliding. That's gonna make a significant difference. And removed stamina cost on blocking hits. That's also gonna make a big difference. Then significantly reduce stamina regen while blocking. What do you guys think about this? Are you happy with these changes to stamina? That's gonna change play style quite a bit, I think. And using the help I'm stuck button should always reset the player to the default starting location in the watch. When it comes to resources, the repair costs now adjust based on the damage percentage of items. That's really good. Initially, it wasn't actually using any dust, and then it was using all of it. So this makes more sense. Lustrous ink can now be used as vibrant ink. And removed reclaimed recipes that allowed for stat stacking. If y'all were using that exploit, it's gone. And then a couple little details added for the UI for card descriptions. And on F2, you'll be able to see which active minor card is happening. Speaking of exploits, they fixed an exploit that was allowing players to cheat the stat count when dropping items. This is a good one right here. Additional activities now reset the AFK timer, such as fishing and starting or canceling crafting. That's really good because it's annoying when you're standing there in the middle of doing something and all of a sudden it boots you out for being AFK. So I'm glad they got to that one. And if you did use this exploit, for getting items with the reclaimed materials. They're saying that it's not affected at this time. I mean, the items that are previously made are not affected at this time for stability, but they are being evaluated for future updates. So you may end up losing those items. Another thing I was looking for that I didn't see in here is that they said at some point there's gonna be new recipes coming in the Ascended Realms. And I thought that would be coming soon, but I don't see anything about that yet. If you like Get to the Point vids, then leave me a like and consider subscribing for more Nightingale. Happy gaming!